Medical marijuana measures now sit on the Senate floor waiting to be heard. Senate Bill 89 would legalize the use of cannabis compounds, cannabidiol, for certain patients. Senate Bill 73 would legalize what supporters call whole plant access. Now tonight, activists are looking at a third option that would leave the decision up to voters. Andrew Adams spoke to the lawmakers who are pushing Senate Bill 73. He says despite opposition from the LDS Church, he's still remaining optimistic. Yeah, Senator Mark Madsen sounded hopeful tonight about where things stand. He's working on a substitute bill that addresses at least some issues. Still, supporters of medical marijuana in Utah are hedging their bets. I've been living with MS for 18 years. Real people with real life challenges. I had to relearn how to walk, how to talk. I had to relearn everyone in my family. And real frustration. And we can't wait for legislators to become comfortable with my medication, with my MS friend's medication. Standing together, supporters announced a new plan to get medical marijuana legalized here by placing it on the ballot. If legislators won't listen, we will take it to the people. Activists say they fear legislation giving whole plant access to sufferers of specific conditions may be dead on arrival, facing opposition from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and a host of questions from lawmakers. I think you are delegating our legislative authority to four doctors who are knowledgeable about the use of cannabis. I think that's a problem. Senator Mark Madsen heard concerns from colleagues about his SB 73 in an ad hoc meeting. And I am always open to discussion and, and, and to compromise. He says he's crafting a substitute bill while insisting the legislative process is the best. I would just hope that that we would do the job that the people sent us here to do. I think really I don't like direct democracy. Still, he says he'll be the first to sign the petition if law Makers can't get something done. Supporters are hoping the threat of an initiative will get the legislature's attention. At the end of the day, I just want the people who represent us in the legislature to listen to us. Going the initiative route puts activists on a tight timeline. They have to file by April 15th to get it on the upcoming ballot. They need nearly 102,000 signatures. Back to you. All right, Andrew Adams, live for us tonight. Thanks so much, Dave. Nope.